The phenomenon of price change is an interesting topic. It's a mysterious topic and I cannot stop thinking about it on a day-to-day -day basis. The central object of probability theory is random numbers, random variables, and somehow key concepts in probability theory work. In today's video, I'm going to put probability theory to the test. I will not be using a single indicator. I will simply try to see if everything I have on my spreadsheets work. I think it will be easier for me to just show you what I mean. Without further ado, let's get rolling. Opened a random pair Turbo USDT, but before I begin trading, I will first explain the concept, something that I'm planning to test in this video. So, what if I go long here with expectations to close my position over there, having my stop loss down there? By the way, the distance between this line and this line is the same as the distance between this line and this line. So, you're right, my probabilities I have a 50% probability to close my position at a profit. And if I don't conduct any research, if I don't do TA, if I go long randomly 1000 times, the more the better, because that's how results become more accurate. So if I go long 1000 times, I go long and let's say with expectations to close my position when the price increases by 1%, having my stop loss at negative 1%, then I can expect with a certain level level of confidence that half or almost half or slightly over half of my positions will close at a profit and the remaining half of my positions will close at a loss. But what if I don't close my position right away and instead I close half of my position at this first level and I close my position completely at this level, then my chances to succeed slightly increase. But what if I go one step further? further and instead of closing my position at this second line, I close 25% of my position here and the remaining amount at this top level. That way my chances to succeed increase immensely. And here is what I mean. This is what I have, the strategy and probabilities. Let's call this line price one this line price two and this line price three. And this will be price zero. So this blue line is our initial entry point. We have 50% chance. Let's say we have a hundred dollars and from here to here, it's a 100% increase. All right, don't look at this. So if we go along at here and close our position at this first green line, it's a 100% price change. And so from here to here, it's another 100% a hypothetical scenario, okay? And let's say we have a hundred dollars to trade. So given all this information, we have a 50% chance of losing $100 if the price goes down. And we have a 50% chance of reaching this first target. So if we go up from price one to price two and close 50% of our position, and then the price returns back to this blue line, we're going to gain $50 as our profit. But however, if the price goes from here to here, we close 50% of our position and then the price increases and goes up to price four, then, and we close the remaining position here, then we will make additional $100 as a profit. According to our strategy, if the price goes to two, this will be price two, we make $50. If we three, we make an additional $100. To calculate the expected profit, we multiply each outcome's probability by its corresponding profit and sum them up. And this is what we have. The expected profit 
based on the probabilities and outcomes provided is $50, which means that on average, we can expect to make approximately $50 per trade in this given scenario. Why? Because of compound interest. If we go along with 50 bucks here and 50 bucks here, and this amount reaches this first target, which is plus 100% in profit in our hypothetical scenario, then we make $50 in profit with this amount. However, if we wait and we do not sell our 50 bucks at this first target, but instead we hold and sell everything off here, then we make 200 minus 50, which is... Okay, then my total profit becomes 150. It's a big big difference. In other words, regardless of your level of expertise, of your level of experience, if you use this strategy and let's say you go long for, you know, 100 times in a row by utilizing this strategy, you may expect to actually win regardless of your knowledge of trading. And I'm planning to put this strategy to the test. I picked this turbo USDT pair. I don't even know what this token is. I'm not familiar with this asset, but I want to give it a shot and see if probability theory works. I'm planning to open several positions. It should give me more accuracy and let's actually see if we're going to make anything at all. In this video, I'll be using Binance futures, but really for this specific strategy, it doesn't really matter what kind of platform you're using. It doesn't even matter if it's futures or spot. I like Binance futures because it has automation and semi-automation tools, but essentially it doesn't really matter what you're using. All right, Turbo USDT, let's go. I'm going to trade with a multiplier. I'm using 20X. And I think I'll place 20 USDT for each of my positions. I will begin with this Turbo USDT. I mean, I can see that the price is gonna go down right now. Let's choose something that's more questionable. I'm going to take a look at 24 hour change. And I'm going to pick something neutral that didn't really go up or down and something that has volatility. I'm not going to pick BTC or Ethereum simply because these are big coins. And I want to pick something like a shady old coin that's going up and down within a matter of a few minutes. Okay, 1000 bonk USDT. All right, looks like, seems like a great candidate. I'm going to quickly open a long position. All right, so here, you know, I'm using $21 USDT at 20X. Go long, boom. All right, I want to be precise. All right, guys, so this is what we have. We went long around this level. And now we're going to close 50% of our position here and the rest over here. These are, of course, our expectations. And to test our theory, we need to open several positions. So I'm going to place alerts on these lines. So regardless, I have set everything up so you can see my PNL is negative 1.3 USDT, which is negative 6%. And I'm planning to pick a couple of other tokens. Let's continue. I'm going to keep this tab open and I will move on to the next coin or token. Let's take a look at this already USDT. Looks like a great candidate as well. Although my indicator is showing that this asset is in the bearish zone right now. So let's pick something that looks more optimistic. Jasmine USDT, let's see. Jasmine is in the bullish cycle. All right, let's give it a shot. Just like I did it with the previous asset, it's also 20X. I'm going to long with 19.41, it's like almost 20 USDT. Let's go long. All right, I'm going to set up my stop loss, which is our so-called price two and the stop loss. I'm going to close 50% at this price. So we're all set. All right, so this yellow line is our entry point. We have intentions to sell off 50% at this level. Then we update our stop loss and the remaining position will have to close at this green line, line two. I hope it makes sense. I'm going to place alerts at each of these lines. So I stay aware of the situation. In case we hit this first green line, I'll have to update my stop loss in case we 
we hit the stop loss, then, you know, at least we'll know that this particular trade didn't work. All right, so right now we're below the yellow line on the way to the stop loss. And I'm talking about our first asset, 1000 bonk USDT. And so Jasmine is on its way up. Let's move on. So BBUSDT, let's check out this asset. Okay, so this asset is still in the bearish cycle and my 1000 indicator clearly shows that. However, it looks like the cycle is almost over. So we don't know if this asset will continue going down or will trend will reverse. So it's a perfect candidate to be tested. Let's test our theory and use BBUSDT for that. I'm going to use 20X. I'm gonna go long with this asset. I'm using 20 USDT, just like I'm, I'm repeating the same steps again and again. We go long. So I'm going to copy my entry price. How do I calculate my stop loss and take profit? It's a good question. You can use tools on trading view and manually measure it, but I personally use spreadsheets. Formula is very simple. You can copy my formula. So this will be my entry price. And so to calculate my price, my take profit price, I use this formula, the initial amount multiplied by one plus your percentage. So I want to close half of my position. Once the price goes up by 1.2%. So, but again, you can come up with your own levels. It could be 2%, 3, 4, 5, whatever you want. So, and the same formula applies for my take profit. The green line number two, back to the topic. I'm setting up my take profit and stop loss. Done. Here I have to manually place a limit order. So here I'm going to close half of my position, close long. Do you see? it says 50%, so close long. And we're all set. Now we have three positions open so far, Jasmine and BBUSDT. Jasmine USDT and BBUSDT are doing all right. Uh, 1000 bonk seems to be heading toward the stop loss. But once again, we don't care. We want to open a few more positions. So the results are more precise. But something tells me that I'm going to be profitable after I complete and finalize all of the trades, simply because probability theory works all the time. All right, so I placed alerts on two of these lines and let's move on. WLD USDT. But before I touch this asset, I just got an alert here. You can see Jasmine USDT. Let's see. All right. So I need to update my stop loss. All right. So stop loss is updated and I'm going to continue. All right. Here is another perfect candidate. I'm going to go long. I'm going to take this entry price to figure out my take profit and stop loss. So here I'm going to update my place, my stop loss and my take profit and also I'm going to close half of my position at this price close long all right everything is set let's replicate it all on the chart so so far I have three positions open because just closed at a profit and so we have BBUSDT and WLDUSDT left I mean so far so good I see that we can witness that probability theory is not just a form of science that has to do with random phenomena. We are in the process of completing a few trades and we can see how probability theory works in real life, how it works in trading. And I hope it will give you a little bit of wisdom, especially to those individuals who just started trading or cannot find a profitable way of trading. You know, there are a lot of people who know how to trade but still cannot make money, you could try this kind of trading that is purely based on probability theory. Try using just that and complete a few trades and see maybe it will be a great solution to your specific problem. And it doesn't matter which direction you're trading. In this video, I showed you how to go long. If you go long all the time and close half of your position at price two and the remaining at price three, that's the outcome you might have. But the same exact logic applies to you if you open short positions is the same exact kind of logic. So you could trade both directions. You could open long and short positions simultaneously. Yeah, I can see that after completing all four trades, 
I'm going to make a little bit of profit. And that's exactly the point. Probability theory is not just a theory. It's the basis, the foundation of our life. I'm done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, share your thoughts in the comment section. I'm done for now. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KB out. Thank you.